Today's a huge day. We have government inspectors coming over to do an inspection, and if we don't pass this inspection, we're going to lose a huge client. Stay tuned to see what happens. Yabba dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar Once again, coming at you with another vlog On today's vlog, we're going to work again um, We have a huge inspection today We've got government inspectors coming over to check out the place And if we don't pass this, we're going to lose a huge client So everyone's going to be in a bit of a mad rush I've come in a little bit early just to see what's, what's going on If something needs to be done I'm going to be there to help. Um, there's a there's an area that needs to be cleaned up. I got asked to stay back last night, but the wife was finishing uh, at two, and I didn't want her to catch public transport. It was 38 degrees yesterday. It was quite hot, um, and where my wife has to walk to the bus, it's a bit of a distance, and I didn't want her to melt. It was really hot yesterday. Today's a little bit different. It's 14 degrees now. It's uh, was it? It's uh, 5:42 in the morning, and yeah, let's start the day off and see what's going on. See you inside. have a look at what I need to do today as I said we've got a huge inspection um, if we don't pass this inspection we're going to lose a huge client and we can't have that happening Quite a fair bit yesterday, but today there's still a fair bit. <coughs> um, okay, well this isn't looking good because I was asked to top up this e-waste section, and they put all these bags in front of this space, so that's going to make my life a little bit difficult. Don't know how they expect me to put all this e-waste in there when they've just blocked the whole path. So unfreaking believable, really. Some of these people in here are just—they got no brains. Before I left, I told them clear these pallets so I got access. And what have they done? They've—they've they've blocked everything up. Oh. Some people, I swear, they just don't think. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go and continue on with my containers and then wait till these guys arrive so they can move all this crap out and I can start loading some of this. We've got this huge pile here, you can see. Um, it's not supposed to be out outdoors, it needs to be under cover. I mean, half of it's under cover, but the other half's hanging out into the elements and that needs to be inside. So I'm going to wait till the rest of the guys arrive. Probably in about an hour and then get them to move these pallets so I can start loading some of this stuff inside. Stay tuned. Alright, so welcome back guys. I've just finished the um, service on the Bobcat. Blown all the dust out, cleaned all the air filters, greased everything up and it's time to head out. <coughs> As I mentioned before, I was supposed to come in this morning and clear this area up, but some bright spark decided to put all those um, bulker bags in front of my area, so I can't 
do that until they get in here. So I'm just going to go out and continue loading the containers until they get in. And then I'll come back and get onto that. I'll probably do a bit of a time lapse. Time lapses look cool when you're moving moving stuff away. You get to see the uh, the pile shrink. So I'm going to get out here and get onto these containers. And the guy said he was going to bring two extra containers, which he hasn't. They brought one over there. As you can see, I started that yesterday, and he told me I'm going to bring two more to put over there, but didn't do that. There's three over here that were completed yesterday. They should have been moved out as well and replaced with another three, but with this place, people don't deliver on their promises, and that really annoys me. If you make a promise, stick with it. Nothing worse than when someone promises something and doesn't doesn't deliver. But anyway, I'm going to get on with these containers and uh, I'll catch you a little bit later.
dog. Just like I said, sweeping things under the rug, just laying, throwing these tyres on, covering the tarp that we've we've placed down to cover the e-waste. This is rid ridiculous because someone's going to need to remove all of these shredded tyres. And guess who that's going to be? trying to do hide the tarp or just cover oh there's nothing if it's covered properly they've got no issues hey. Carsten was saying this should have been taken out while he was away and I'm letting do it. because they had a week to move this shit no one did nothing so I don't know what what was going on too busy separating batteries two blokes on a I can't put any higher, man. I can't get any closer. You got a more control with that. Big's ass, I do. Yeah. Come manager, come on. Hey. You uh, put them on, you're not going to be able to get them off, I mate. You don't worry about it because I'm going to be the one fucking that gets told to take it off. What? How many pairs you got? What's he the GoPro? Oh, well, mate, just recording. Yeah, fucking this. What did you get? They asked me to record what we're doing. I ain't said I'll pay. Good on them. I'll we'll pay five grand, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the boys are still working out the front. I'm going to go back to my usual routine. Stay away out of their, their problems. This is why I like my job. I've got my own things to do. Every now and then I'll go and help, but... If I'm not helping, I'm doing my own thing. So let's go and load some containers. And uh, I'll catch you on the other side. Looks like we've got some neighbours over here. Looks like they're taking some trees down. I've already put a uh, security fence up. They're doing some digging. They've made a road, bit of a car park for themselves. No one knows what's, who's moving in, but looks like work has begun and we might see some uh, neighbours here in the not too distant future. They've taken down some big trees here. They've already taken two or three large ones way down the, down the back there, if you can see that guy in the orange. 
There was uh, two or three. Oh, boom! There was two or three. Now there's four down. So they are taking all of these trees down, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know how the greenies would go if they saw this. These trees are quite quite large. They're probably 20 years old, maybe even older, and been taken down one by one so sad not sure if they got permits for that but who's going to see that we're off the main road here normally if they're in suburban areas and you look like you're going to chop a tree down the neighbors have the police they'll have the council down and ask them for your permits stink over that. They don't like people chopping trees down for no reason, even though they're building something near a factory or something. Whenever there's a, uh, a new road being built, these councils, they just come in, they just chop trees down when they need uh, when they need to make roads, they'll chop anything down with, with, without an issue. But if you've got a tree in your backyard that you just want down because of safety reasons, you've got to jump through hoops, um, if you chop it down without getting a permit, you'll end up with a huge fine. But when they want something done, they just do it, they don't, they don't care. So, double standards for us normal people compared to the council or the government, they do what they like. And there's nothing we can do about it. Alright, so welcome back guys. Just finished lunch. Need to move, or we need to 
expand, make the factory bigger. By the way, the e-waste business is booming. We're getting new contracts almost every week. Like I said in my previous videos, the e-waste industry is massive. Absolutely massive. There's not enough processes here in Australia that can uh, recycle the e-waste. We're not the biggest at the moment, but we're pretty close. We've got some big contracts for some, from some big corporations and others are taking note of what we're doing. We're doing the right thing, we're doing a good thing. Uh, we're saving the environment. This e-waste, if we don't do it, people just throw it in the landfill and we don't want to go in the landfill. We need to stop polluting recycle as much as we can because that's the future 10 15 years ago no one was recycling any e-waste it was all going into the landfill and we're slowly running out of landfill the ones we have are almost full of e-waste and that's just poisoning the ground it's not good eventually that that poison once it seeps into the ground and you get a, a fair bit of rain that just washes through into the water table and even into, into our rivers into the oceans and we don't want to be poisoning and killing other animals we need to take care of the planet we live on so that future generations can prosper and enjoy their lives and not have to worry about getting toxic poison, poisonous diseases and dying from toxic poisons. So we're doing our best. It'd be nice if the government jumped on board and maybe helped out a bit because they can bark as much as they want how we need to be doing the right thing but it's hard to do the right thing when the government doesn't want to help. There are a couple of businesses that seem to get preferential treatment from the government and that's not fair. There's a lot of us here that are in this business and we could do more if the government helped us. So, but we're working on that. We're working on that slowly. Things can only get better. Anyway, I'll just, let me throw this one more bucket in and I'll close this out with a bit of peace and quiet. I'll turn the, turn the engine off so you can hear me. I'm using a uh, external microphone. I've got the Zoom F1 external field recorder, audio recorder. I did a day's vlog a couple of weeks ago just using the GoPro and you couldn't hear a thing. All you could hear was just the droning of the of the engine. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of vibration that goes through this uh, Bobcat and a lot of that was vibrating through to the GoPro which was creating a lot of uh, distortion and noise. Um, so that's why I got this uh, external microphone. Um, I've had a listen to it before and it seems to do all right. So, um, hopefully you can hear me better than, hang on, let me turn it down, and I don't have to yell anymore, okay, so, yeah, that's it guys, I'm just finishing off for the day, I've got this last container to do, and um, I'm going home, um, yesterday was a stinking hot day, 38 degrees, today's just 22, or 21 I think, not so much wind as yesterday, the dust was unbearable yesterday. I'm lucky I'm in the Bobcat, so it's not too bad. This Bobcat's pretty much um, sheltered from the elements outside, the, the, the cold, the heat. It's got air conditioning, it's got a heater during winter, and it has cabin filters that keep most of the dust out. I'd say probably 95% of the dust is kept out of this uh, machine, and that's the way I like it. I feel sorry for some of these guys outside when it's windy and they're just breathing in this dust all day, but it is what it is. And 
there's not much I can do about it. That's why I get the big dollars and they don't. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching again. I haven't shown you, hang on, let me turn this camera around. I'm hoping it's still recording. Yep, it is. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. If you like more of these videos, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments section and I might start making a couple more. Um, I'd like to do one where, where I'm showing you the um, where we're loading ties on the conveyor and going through the super chopper. Might even get up the top just to show you down inside the, the super chopper how the blades go around, how they actually chop the ties. Um, and then maybe go inside and just show you some of the machines. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, otherwise, I might yeah, continue making other videos here. There's always something going on here. People breaking things, people damaging things. Um, I don't know. I think it's quite comical. Um, it puts a smile on my face when I come to work. Always something, always, someone's always broken something or someone's always done damage to something. So always a bit of a laugh. But that's life. When you're not really switched on and you don't know what you're doing, you tend to break, break things. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, until we see each other again in the next one, peace out. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side